Hi students, in this video we are going to see about discrete time signal processing unit 1 introduction. In this introduction we are going to see about what is signal and it is types and what is signal processing, block diagram of uh, DSP, advantages and application of digital signal processing. First one is what is signal. A signal that carries data. This is the first point you have to remember uh, when you think about a signal. A signal that carries data from one system to another or one network to another. The signal may be electromagnetic or electrical current. In technical, a signal is a function of data which represent a physical quantity. The quantity may be uh, temporary, uh, sorry, uh, time or uh, amplitude or uh, uh, frequency. For example, electrical current flowing through a resistor. That electric current is a signal. A sonar sound wave propagating underwater. That sonar sound is a signal. Or earthquake uh, vibrations is also a signal for the uh, uh, earthquake uh, in a measuring instrument. And uh, these two are the example for the signal. This one is analog but a periodic signal. And this one is ECG signal. Next, types of signal. These are the types of signal uh, in which we are uh, going to concentrate on discrete time signal and uh, comparing this uh, uh, discrete time signal with the continuous time signal. First one is analog signal. This analog signal is continuous in time as well as continuous in amplitude, right? This analog signal is um, processing of analog signal is quite complicated when compared to digital signal and also for transmission, the digital signal is or discrete signal is user friendly. And also to find uh, um, error and also error correction, the uh, discrete or digital signal is uh, user friendly. So, uh, then only we can uh, convert the analog signal into digital signal. This digital signal is continuous in time, but not continuous in, in its amplitude, right? In this uh, discrete uh, time signal, it is uh, discontinuous in time as well as amplitude, right? What are the difference or uh, comparison between analog versus uh, discrete. The continuous uh, time signal is always a natural signal. Um, example, audio voice or uh, vibrations like that. The discrete time signal is a digital representation of the continuous time signal after sampling. Uh, the continuous signal can be converted into uh, discrete time signal by Euler's method. And here uh, the discrete uh, time signal can be converted into uh, continuous time signal by uh, zero order hold or first order hold. The important uh, point is um, in its continuous time signal, the finite or infinite domain of sequence is used. It is uh, in discrete time signal, finite domain of sequence is only uh, used. Here, the continuous time signal variable is denoted by letter T. For example, X of T is a continuous uh, time signal representation. The discrete time variable is denoted by a letter N. X of N is a discrete time signal representation. What is signal processing? The signal processing is nothing but an analysis or interpretation and manipulation of any signal. If you are going to analysis the signal, which is nothing but a signal processing. Okay. Uh, what are the process uh, we are going to uh, do for a signal is storage and reconstruction or uh, separation of information from noise and uh, compression. If we send a, a video or a audio file, uh, you know, through the uh, WhatsApp means the WhatsApp software first compress the uh, file um, size. Then only it can uh, transmit uh, through the through its uh, um, network. So the compression is itself also a yeah, signal processing. And the future extraction, converting a text to speech or a speech to text. Uh, example, Google uh, voice recognition and Google lens. These are all uh, signal processing applications. Okay. A small um, example, here a recording is uh, done and the recording analog signal is con uh, converted into digital signal for uh, digital signal processing. And then uh, the DSP is given that uh, a digital signal to memory for storage. Here the storage is also a uh, signal processing method. And uh, from memory, the DSP uh, retrieve the data and again it uh, um, convert the digital signal into analog signal for uh, a speaker to play back.
what are the block diagram used for digital signal processing here analog signal is uh, um, used as an input and anti-aliasing filter which is nothing but low pass filter it eliminates uh, unwanted uh, um, high frequencies and all and this uh, uh, output of the low pass filter is given to the analog to digital converter because we have to processing the signal using uh, uh, process the digital signal okay uh, how we are converting analog signal into digital signal is sampling sampling is the important concept of uh, a digital signal processing right uh, after that uh, the signal is converted uh, digital signal is uh, given into digital processor and then the processing is done in this uh, uh, block after that uh, the digital signal is converted into analog signal for uh, output okay here uh, the digital uh, to analog signal is um, done by reconstruction for sampling and the reconstruction nyquist theory is very very important in upcoming uh, videos and lecture session we have a uh, um, look into the nyquist theory or theorem process of conversion first our audio signal is given uh, by the microphone and it is uh, uh, given as an input to the adc here the adc converts analog uh, signal into discrete or digital signal and the digital signal is given to uh, this is the digital signal example and it is given to digital system again the digital signal uh, system process the uh, signal and the output is given to uh, dac which is nothing but digital to analog converter here the speaker receives the analog signal from the uh, dac digital to analog conversion what are the advantages of dsp uh, high accuracy high accuracy means uh, the analog filter uh, uh, doesn't have that much uh, tolerance or a uh, superior control over uh, accuracy uh, so um, the analog filter are affected by some vibrations or uh, uh, environmental uh, temperature uh, like that but dsp has superior uh, control over accuracy uh, when compared to uh, analog uh, realization the digital implementation of circuits is um, is comparatively cheaper and flexibility in configuration uh, uh, for reconfiguration in analog system we can only do it by redesigning of uh, such a uh, system hardware but uh, when it comes to DSP system, it is easily reconfigured by uh, changing the program itself. Uh, next one is ease of data storage. Um, analog signal storage is uh, quite complex when compared to DSP. Uh, next one is time sharing. These are the uh, major disadvantages why we go for uh, digital signal processing instead of analog signal processing. Okay. Next one is application. Where the DSP processing is used. Uh, these are the main uh, domain uh, where the digital signal processing is applied okay uh, first one is computer communication radar uh, mp3 and mp4 uh, these are the examples i have given uh, for uh, whatsapp uh, um, file transfer okay yet quack the vibration uh, itself uh, captured by a sig uh, as a signal in this instrument and biomedicine uh, biomedicine means uh, uh, hearing a womb's uh, a child uh, uh, heartbeat okay and artificial intelligence is nothing but uh, recognizing our uh, retina or uh, our voice like that and the domain wise dsp application in image processing uh, pattern recognition uh, image enhancement animation these are the application uh, where the dsp processors are used and uh, biomedical means pa patient monitoring uh, ecg analysis and um, when it comes to consumer applications uh, cellular mobile phones digital television digital camera internet phone the, uh, uh, so uh, according to this uh, we can't use any consumer applications or uh, government uh, applications without digital signal processing